So far we've received three patients. Yeah, Jessica, we can hear you. So far we've received three patients, two adults and one person under 18. Our um, physicians and nurses are working with them now. Can you tell us about the extent of their injuries? We know, I know that they have gunshot wounds, but that is the extent of the knowledge that I have at this point. What is their uh, condition? Are they critical? Are they serious? I know that one is in the operating room, and that's pretty much all the information I have about their condition. The one in the operating room, students, staff, that we know? I, I don't know. It's an adult. I do know that. An adult male, right? Is what I, I don't have that information, but that is possible. Do you know if you have any students here? We have one person under 18 who I assume was a student. And the other two are adults? Yes. Yeah. Are you expecting more, more patients? We're ready, we're ready for more patients. As a level one trauma center, we're always ready to uh, take patients with life-threatening traumatic injuries, and uh, we're ready for more if they come. We have not heard that any are en route at this point. I heard that you just done a mass casualty drill just a few weeks ago to prepare for something like this. I had heard that you had just done a mass casualty drill just a few weeks ago to prepare for something like this. Can you just talk about what it's like right now in the emergency room? People are taking care of the patients and uh, waiting for more. There's personnel. We had additional personnel in. There's additional trauma surgeons in, anesthesiologists, and they're ready for more patients if they come. Now you say you have one in surgery. The other two, did they go into surgery already or they did not, did not need surgery? One's in the emergency department, and one has already been admitted to the hospital. So, they, will they need surgery too? Or I don't know that yet. They're still assessing their conditions, and uh, I'll let you know at 11.45 when we can provide the next update. If there are parents out there who don't know where their child is at or, or their loved one is at, should they come to the hospital? What can you say to those people? We have an area set up with our social workers in the emergency department. If there are parents who show up, we will have to try to help them the best we can to find out what's going on with their children. And I'm sure at that scene, which is, I hear is very chaotic from the reports that we've gotten, uh, there are resources for parents there also. And are there people starting to show up, people with loved ones? I don't have that information. Um, we did have um, a, a couple of family members accompany a patient, but that's all I know. What is it like for you guys right now to see this it's, happening in your trauma center? It's heartbreaking. Our hearts go out to Santa Fe. The students and the residents in your trauma center. It's heartbreaking. Our hearts go out to Santa Fe. The students and the residents have uh, 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 you can control the situation uh, depending on your photographer. And I have very good photographers, uh, but uh, uh, no, I don't. How young? Uh, sorry, I don't. <laughs> How young was the young? It's heartbreaking. Our hearts go out to Santa Fe. The students and the residents. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> How young was the young? <laughs> <laughs> How young was the young? How young was the young? How young was the young? All the ones that I know of at this point were caused by the uh, the long wa the long weapon. So the, the, the rifle was the primary weapon. Yes. And what caliber were the <laughs> Uh question was what caliber were these bullets and I know I probably know more about firearms than most pathologists but if I say it in court they yell at me and don't make me answers so I'll let the police uh, 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 deal with that for you the injuries but you said it was the long rifle that was used yes Did you shoot? I thought the long rifle was, was discovered in the car it's not correct, <laughs> not correct sir the follow up on that question uh, I don't know. There were lots of them. Okay. Uh, Y'all gonna have to look at the spreadsheet when we pass it out. I'm sorry. Did the gunman kill himself with the rifle? No. I don't. I, I don't know yet. I, I'll, I'll examine him tomorrow morning. Precision on the shooter was it spread? Uh, uh, randomly. Both. It's a very difficult question to answer. Okay. Uh, you think after the thousands of people I've seen shot, I could answer that question, but I, it's, if I attempted to answer it in court, there'd be an objection and they'd win. <laughs> They're wearing, they're wearing kid, kid stuff. <laughs> Doctor, the, the children that you autopsied, where on the body were they wearing? Um, all over. How many boys and how many girls? 
no idea. It wasn't a tent. It was this magnificent thing. It's heartbreaking. Our hearts go out to Santa Fe. The students and the residents. Those people that aren't in surgery, is that a sign that they are okay? That they can... I, I don't know their condition. They may require um, additional care, but I don't know the extent of their injuries or what they're going to uh, need later on yet. Dr. Sharma, do you have anything else to, to add as well? No, I think uh, as Dr. Marshall said, we are prepared and uh, the patients are getting the excellent care and uh, they're all under the best care of our physician and nursing. And, you know, we don't want uh, anything like this happen anywhere, but we're always prepared. This is kind of the first time this has happened in your trauma center. Just what is, what's going through your mind right now? I think one of the reasons is uh, we always think that it's never going to happen at your place, but we always prepare for it. Uh, you know, as you know, at UTMB, we always prepare for these drills. Uh, you know, as you know, at UTMB, we always prepare for these drills. Uh, you know, as you know, at UTMB, we always prepare for these drills.